Okay, now I want to show how to do the water layering into the uh, alamanda flower plants. So this is uh, the, I, my, I have selected this stem for the water layering. So water layering is this one type of cuttings, but we have to produce the roots before transplanting. Normal cutting, we just cut and process the stem and transplant. But when we do the water layering, we have to uh, produce the root from the cutted stem, then we can transplant. So now today i want to show this is very effective methods and very quickly we can produce the root from the stem that means the success percentage is about 100 percent so there is no death usually if there is no problem in the soil media so today i want to show how to do the water layering into the alamanda plant so how to cut and how to uh, set for the produce of the root using the water into the olivex so just now i want to show now so you can see so you have to use a sharp knife so then this is the selected stem so now i want to show so better we have a support here eh, for the uh, hole the, that means called the binding of the or hanging of the poly bag with water so so just you have to cut half portion eh? so you have to do like that so half of the stem so like that Okay, so this is the cutted portion. Now we have to put into the water. So this is the water I have already. So use water so I can reduce a bit. Then we have to insert the cutted stem inside. Eh? So you can see. So and then you have to raise the poly bag that the cutted portion can it can come into contact of the water so like that that is the entire cutted portion in contact with the water then you have to tie very tightly so you can do very tightly you have to tie so you have to ensure that the stem is straight eh? that is better for uh, stability eh? so then you can tie with the support eh? is talking so because otherwise the uh, due to the walk wind follow up wind or sometimes there is a storm okay so this is like that so the cut portion inside already inside the uh, poly bag and into uh, uh, in complete contact with the water so just you have to wait about three to four weeks then after that you can see within one week you can see the initiation of the roots then when the root is already matured about three to four weeks then you can easily cut and transplant into the soil so that step i will show again how to cut and how to transplant into the media so it's very easy very potential methods and very quick methods to develop roots from the cutting then after that you can transplant so as i already told is better for the sharp type of plant, non woody, not woody. Woody plant is better for the layering, marketing. But this one is auto layering, they're mostly suitable for the shrub type, non woody, but not herbs. Shrub, eh? those who know the, the variation among the herb, shrub, and tree. So this is shrub, non woody plant. Okay, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So today I want to show the another types of ear layering so i usually call it uh, water layering eh? just using water so you can see this is the alamanda alamanda flower so very nice flower and this is a shrub type of plant not actually tree eh? this shrub type of plant so shrub type of plant is very suitable for such types of water layering eh? uh, because i have not used any types of soil media or any compost whatever else is that usually used in uh, ear layering or marketing so this is called water layering eh? just using the water so you can see this is the poly bag so inside the poly bag just only water tap water and you have to cut the stem in a certain position you can see so just a longitudinal uh, cutting here then in into the cutting you have to insert the water bag and you have to keep in a sense way that the water can uh, attach the cutting portion of the stem that is it looks like a floating on inside the water so you can see how many roots already uh, developed from here huh? huge number of roots 
so now is already the stage of final cutting and transplanting into the soil so today i want to show how i can cut it and uh, insert into the uh, cutting position the, the, the into the soil eh? that is that why i want to transplant finally so this is one this is another one so you can see this is uh, already uh, uh, in a vertical position here so supposed to be a uh, when we uh, choose the stem so stem should be in vertical position eh? not in like a horizontal like that because uh, sometimes it may, it may broken the stem so you can see it's still not broken but it's still the, uh, the stem is alive eh? so because the uh, stem can uh, get the nutrients from the water only so you can see huge number of roots already developed from here so today i want to cut it and uh, transplant into the soil so this is uh, less than one month eh? so usually we uh, we usually uh, estimate the times uh, three to four weeks is the maximum period so within the very week just uh, when i uh, started this cutting this water layering so just after three days i saw the root initiation started very minor root initiation so this is very quick very quick and uh, as i was already told this is mostly suitable for uh, shrub type of plant non woody eh? not completely woody those who are woody plant better for uh, marketing the uh, ear layering using the media growing media but for the those are uh, uh, what is called the uh, shrub type is called semi woody eh? we usually call semi woody so for that plant this water layering is very effective and very quick and very simple and you can do that and is very uh, uh, potential and what is called the very quick methods to grow a new plants from a mother plant so exactly the same there is no changes from the mother so this is called water layering eh? so i want to cut it now and then i will show clearly how the root is initiated and how i can transplant into the soil okay so now i want to cut it from the portion where first initiated the cutting for the rooting eh? so you have to use a better sequencer eh? so the sequencer i forgot to bring from my office so now in the house this sharp uh, knife so i just cut from there very carefully you have to cut okay and uh, you have to open so the you can see the stem is detached from the plant so you can see how the root is inside so now i want to transplant into the soil media so before that you have to open so i can show you the rooting inside so before that you have to prepare the your growing uh, media that means why you want to transplant into the soil that immediately you can transplant so i have already uh, prepared that one so you can see just water inside and, and one poly bag only so you have to very carefully you have to remove yeah you can see huge number of roots has been developed from here so now you can easily transplant into the media soil media okay so i have already prepared the hole here so this is the place where i want to transplant so it's a small hole so because this uh, root is still very supple and so you have to remember that you cannot hurt the root eh? very softly you have to place into that uh, media so very carefully eh? okay this is enough then you have to give some compost eh? because the root is very succulent so we have to use very soft media so whatever media we use very soft and after that we have to this support is very important it's talking eh? this is talking is very important at the beginning so this is the stocking for the uh, in, initial support eh? because the root is very succulent then you have to tie you have to tie very nicely from the shaking of wind you have to protect the plant from the shaking of wind is very important because within within few days eh? within two three days this it will be okay so no problem okay so so we should tie in different place to protect from the shaking of the wind okay so Bring another one because this is the another stem, so we should try to tie properly because we should not give any chance the shaking from the wind. Okay, 
uh, for that we can use some other media. Also that same media. But we should press very simply, yeah? not very hard because that about the root. Then we can add some water. So that's all. This is water layering. So uh, you have to do in any types of shrub types of plants. Very important and very easy, especially the flower types eh, or any other types of uh, those are uh, the, the lemon. Eh, we can also do in lemon. That means those don't have the hardwood. For the hardwood, we should use the uh, marcoating. That means using the media as normal layering. So this is called water layering. So I did it in uh, Alamanda flower, Alamanda flower. So I, can, I hope that everyone can try and very easily can produce the uh, develop root and cutting and transplanting. That means you can uh, increase the number of uh, seedlings. That means the similar as the mother plant. <coughs> this is one type of asexual, uh, asexual plant growing. Huh? The, that means the stem cutting. This is one type of stem cutting but after producing the roots that means you can confirm it will be uh, established very easily